I feel like everybody kind of suffers from it's so easy to highlight what didn't go well. You know, mm -hmm. it's so easy to criticize and find the things that are, well, that's, that didn't go well. This could have been better. That person did this and I didn't like it. it mm -hmm. That, that part is easy, but trying to, what you're doing is finding a reason to say, Hey, this person excelled in this area, yeah. you know, give them something that's like, Hey, you're doing, I guess it's that, uh, you know, reward versus punishment yes. kind of thing. Well, and you know, from an educational, from a cognitive standpoint, we do know that reward works better than punishment. It's been proven. We don't act that way most of the time, whether it's in our schools, whether it's we thrive on that punishment, but just like the servant leadership, we know that the reward works better. Uh, we did not have a good early education. Well, we did not have a good kindergarten teacher. It was a rough year for mm -hmm. Bryce. He was in trouble a lot. We never got good notes. We were on red light all the time. We were on sad face, whatever it was, we were on the low end. Mm -hmm. And I kept saying, can you give me one thing he did good so I can talk about that thing with him? I'm going to address this. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, when Wait. we got to first and second grade, it was phenomenal. They were fantastic. Mm -hmm. But I knew that that's what I needed to hear and that's what they weren't hearing. So having been in that side where I sat there every day, wait until three o'clock. So, and if the principal didn't call me, I was pretty anxious, excited about it. Just rocking in my chair thinking, oh gosh, oh, yes, it's three. Oh wait, what if she's just now getting around to call the bad kids parents? Like all the thoughts, like I knew them. And so I knew exactly what to look for, what they needed to hear. I knew how to talk to the kids. Um, a lot of the kids need to understand the why. And so I grew up in the mentality of, well, cause I'm the mom. That's why. Mm. Well, yes, I should listen to you, but they don't always work. Their minds don't work that way. So I can be stubborn and say, because I said so, or I could take that extra step and tell them why and get the result I want. Why do I not want you to jump on the back of the boat? Because you'll fall and that propeller back there will really hurt you. Mm. And so they tend to stop. <laughs> sort of like uh, demonstrating the value of like, mm -hmm. hey, we have adults, adults have all this experience and they can, you know, kind of, they have a, they have a wisdom developed and this is the value of that. This is sort mm -hmm. of what's going to go wrong and helping kids, taking that extra little bit yeah. of patience to explain to the kid, make sure that they understand this is the reasons why It's not things just to are be gonna, mean. It's, yeah. And, you know, I've learned from studying some generations that. Uh, the millennial generation, that's a big thing with the millennials. They want to know the why mm. they want to know where they fit in the cog in the wheel. What, what role does their cog play? And so it's kind of been applicable on that side as well, learning how to do it with my son and applying it to when I'm interacting with the chamber role, whether it's with that or with other areas of my life, yeah. even as a paralegal. Like well, my wife and I were actually watching a, a video last night about a parent who has a really rowdy child, maybe maybe similar symptoms to what your child had and her approach to it was like, don't lose your temper. Don't get mad. Uh, just let them know, set boundaries, mm -hmm. maintain those boundaries and let them know that they're, they're going to have to control their emotions before they can get what they want. Yeah. So, you know, sort of teaching them to communicate. My son was very impulsive. He was a hitter, but he wasn't a like, oh, I'm mad at you. I'm going to hit you. Oh, you took my toy. I'm going to hit you. It was more of a, you're standing there. I'm going to hit you. It's just an impulse. Often he had no idea he even did it. And so we had to learn, okay, we can't react to him hmm. because that's exactly what he's doing. Hmm. And it's going to reinforce that. If I get mad and react to something he's done, that's what we're trying to teach him not to do. So we really had to change our whole discipline style to do what we thought was best for him, whether um, from advice from our, from count school counselors, as well as our pediatrician, who was a great pediatrician, but she also had a son with ADHD. Mm -hmm. So she had, she could come at it from the medical side and the mama side, which was very helpful. So we had to change a lot based on that impulsivity because we didn't want our impulsivity to cement it in him, mm -hmm. that it was okay to react that way.